bourbon distilleries like Jim Beam have been making their whiskey for more than 200 years. A lot of people think Jim Beam started the company, but it was actually his great-grandfather, Jacob Beam, who back in 1795 started making whiskey for about 30 miles from here, a little place called Hardin Creek. The land here was rich for farming, and Jacob Beam, like many new American farmers, had more grain than he knew what to do with. Distilling was an absolutely necessary part of being a farmer. Because America was so fertile and grain of all types grew so well here, they needed to do something with the excess of grain. Farmers realized that if they distilled their grain, it wouldn't rot. But that wasn't the only advantage. Distilled grains also brought in hefty profits at the market. Jacob Beam sold his first barrel of bourbon in 1795, and a legend was born. Today, the Jim Beam Distillery has the capacity to produce more than 10 million gallons of bourbon each year. The massive operation requires constant quality checks, beginning with the grain shipments. Each batch is checked for odor quality, excessive cracking of the kernels, and moisture percentage before it's crushed into a powdery grist. This is what will go to the still. By law, for whiskey to be called bourbon, it must contain at least 51% corn. Beyond that, the grain mixture can vary. Jim Beam bourbons contain corn, rye, and barley. In the late 70s and early 80s, when video games came out, people became so creative, they would go and drill holes through their quarters, tie a little bit of fishing line in there, put it in until it hit the micro switch, pull it back out, get their quarter, get a free game.